Well earlier we saw the uh, flywheel assembly uh, from Jackie Furnow's 500 Royal Enfield bullet in the uh, lathe over there supported between centres just to get an idea of whether there was any excessive run out on the shafts or anything while well, it was uh, as it was after 80,000 miles and there was to all intents and purposes virtually no run out uh, what run out there was uh, happened at the same point of rotation by the same amount so one effectively cancelled the other one out um, to a large degree anyway anyway here we are I've split the crank in the press and I haven't seen the big end myself yet but uh, I'm about to so let's all take a look at it I'll just lift the conrod off that uh, doesn't look bad at all that get that way up and here's the infamous floating bush that nobody likes well I say nobody likes um, there's a lot of people fret about them and uh, a lot get replaced with roller big ends and that apparently has done 80,000 miles it actually looks like if it has done 80,000 miles that it could probably do 80,000 more but um, I think we'll probably put a new one in anyway as we've got one and lastly the crank pin has actually any wear on that is barely detectable there's the tiniest you can just feel a change in the surface I can feel the change when I run my fingertip across the crank pin um, there's probably something like well whatever's worn off there would be less <coughs> excuse me <coughs> it'd be less than a thousandth of an inch a thousandth of an inch gone off that it's barely detectable um, so that's a reasonable way round what I think I'll do is I'll clean it up and I'll check the fit of the new floating bush um, I probably will fit the new crank pin anyway as a matter of course but for 80,000 miles that lot had a hell of a lot of life left in it still to go um, but it's going to be going on its long distance adventures again so um, we want it to be as good as we can get it um, so yes I think I'll put the new crank pin in there new floating bush I don't see a problem at all with the um, I in the conrod, the hard bush that the uh, floating bush runs in, I think that'll be fine. So, crank pin, floating bush, replace, put it all back together, clean it up a bit, put it back together, true it, and uh, should be good to go for many more thousands of miles again, hopefully. And there we are, my next video, if all goes well, will be demonstrating it back together and hopefully showing no more run out than it had before.